What up, Giants fans? I'm your host, Marshall Green, and you're watching New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. We're about to get into a mailbag, which aired on our live show. It goes down every single Wednesday. So turn your notifications on so next time we go live, you can join the party. Because look, there's only one way to make sure your question gets on the show. You got to be a subscriber. So go down right now, hit that big red button, and lock us in. Shout out to King Wolf, a real one. He says, sign Cole Beasley from the Bucks practice squad. The Giants have talked to Cole Beasley. There was rumors that the Giants offered Cole Beasley a one-year veteran minimum contract, but he took that deal with the Tampa Bay Bucks. But he's on the practice squad. But some people will say, Marshall, he played this past Sunday. He's still on the practice squad. You can be elevated from the practice squad as a game day call-up three times before you have to be elevated to the, uh, to the active roster, just like Fabian Morrow, just like Tony Jefferson for the Giants. They've been called up twice. If they get called up a third time, then the Giants would either have to cut them from the practice squad or add them to the official roster. That's what the Bucks did with Cole Beasley. I'd be all in the camp of signing Cole Beasley, but the only way the Giants are going to sign a wide receiver is if they do it for the veteran minimum. He already turned that deal down from the Giants. Maybe you call him again. Say, look, we're giving you an active roster spot. The Bucs are not. I think he'd be a good fit. He knows the Brian Dable offense. He spent time in Buffalo. I think it's a good idea, King Wolf. I'd definitely ring that phone again. I'll ask all the Giants fans right now, though. Should the Giants sign Cole Beasley? Type S for sign, or you can go down type P for pass. Shout out to Allen. He says, I've been seeing a bunch of talking heads talking about trading Saquon Barkley at the trade deadline. Do you think they should do it? Uh, no. I do not think the Giants should trade Saquon Barkley. Um, I get the idea and rationale behind it, right? Like, you know, he's a running back. He's on, a, he's on an expiring deal. The Giants aren't ready to compete now. They're probably not going to be ready to compete next year. So at what age is Saquon Barkley going to fall off a cliff? I get all that. But you cannot trade Saquon Barkley. He's the heartbeat of this team. He is someone that's given his all to this team. He's someone that worked hard, got back from an ACL, and right now, he's the best football player on your team next to Andrew Thomas. You cannot trade him. You cannot do that to your fan base. You do not get better in this league by trading proven talent. You don't get better like that. I understand why people, some people may say it, but Allen, I cannot get behind the idea that the, Cow the Giants should trade Saquon Barkley. This is a trade idea I saw on the internet, though. The Giants, they get a 2023 first-round pick from the Bills, and the Bills get Saquon Barkley. So I'll ask you guys this question. Would you make this trade? Would you trade Saquon Barkley for a first-round pick? Would you make the trade on screen? I'm typing my D for decline. I wouldn't do it. But let me know what you think. Type A for accept if you would make this trade. Or you can go down and type D for decline if you wouldn't. I'm really curious where all people stand. I say no way, no how. I'm not trading Barkley. But I want to hear from you. Type A for accept. Or you can go down and type D for decline. Mr. Assassin, a legend. Do you think Slayton will get his shot and maybe prove himself? He, this is the week where Darius Slayton's going to get some reps. Kadarius Tony. And Wandale Robinson don't play again this week. He has to play because the Giants only have four healthy wide receivers in Kenny Galladay, Darius Slayton, Richie James, and David Sills. You're going to have to play him. I would not be surprised if Darius Slayton catches a touchdown. He's that type of fast. He has the ability to take the top off the defense. I'm not the biggest Darius Slayton guy because he drops a lot of passes. And I don't think you should be in the NFL if you can't catch the football. But he has the speed that makes you respect him on the outside. And he can run behind people. So, yes, I think he's going to get a shot. And he's got no other choice but to prove himself. Well, the Giants are going to look at other options to go and, you know, beef up that wide receiver room. I definitely think Slayton gets a shot this week to, you know, produce for the Giants. Mr. NY Stadium, BD4. Do you feel a little disappointed Kayvon Thibodeau did not get a sack? I don't feel disappointed at all. Um, first game, coming off an MCL sprain, played 37 snaps. He had a big play, guys. On third down, he batted a pass down. That's the same thing as a sack, in my opinion. Because you know what it did? It got the Giants off the field on third down. I know it doesn't go down in the stat sheet. I know you can't point to your friends and say, look, 
He had a batted down pass on third down, but that's a big play. You got your team off the field. It might as well catch, count as a pressure. Does he need to make more plays? No doubt about it. Does he need to be a bigger impact player in the run game? No doubt about it. But I am not worried one inch or one shred about Kayvon Thibodeau. I like him this week to get some pressure on Justin Fields because that Bears offensive line, it's not a good fo- It's not a good unit. Jessica Lampert, how do you think Adoree Jackson has done so far replacing Bradbury, and how do you feel about X-Man? I thought, I thought Adoree Jackson has played great football. He got beat on that C.D. Lamb touchdown, the one-on-one fade ball, but honestly, that was just a great throw by Cooper Rush. It, it forced C.D. Lamb to make a one-handed catch. Look, corners are going to get scored on. It's going to happen, but I like how he's played this year. I thought he's been... Around the football, I thought he's been a good tackler. I, I, I think he's done a very good job of replacing James Bradbury. And I thought the X-Man has been a freaking baller. I love what he does. He can attack the passer. He can play as a box safety. He can play a little bit of nickel corner. He can play a free safety. He can play strong safety. Xavier McKinney's one of the best safeties in the NFL. I'm a big fan of his. I'm glad he's a New York football giant. He's played great. So is Adore Jackson. Really do this, 55. Is Kadarius Tony a bust? Uh, a bust? No, it, it, it's too soon to call anybody a bust. Um, But he hasn't lived up to being a first-round pick. He hasn't made the Giants better. He hasn't done anything to make the Giants better. I'm not calling him a, a bust, though. It's, it's too much. It's too soon. Look, we've seen the talent. Go back to the Cowboys game last year. Am I frustrated he's hurt? Yes. Am I frustrated he just always finds a way to be on the injury report? Yes. Am I a little ticked off? Am I a little annoyed? No doubt. But you know why? Because I really think this guy can be special. I really do. But I question if he wants to be special. I know you can't control if you're hurt or not, but man, you've got to find a way to get out on the football field and play every single week. He hasn't done that. Hasn't scored a touchdown. Through 20 games as being a giant, he hasn't scored. Has he lived up to the hype? No. Is he a bust? No. But I'll leave it up to you. Not just a one-way com- one way conversation. I like to take the pulse of all Giants fans. Is Kadarius Tony a bust? Type B for he's a bust, or if you think it's too soon, you can type T for too soon. Corinne, what up? With all the turf noise going on, do you think it's time for a field surface? Yes. There's no reason that any team, any stadium in the NFL should playing on tur- be playing on turf. What what the Broncos just sell for? Four billion dollars. Every team in the NFL is worth at least one billion dollars. You can't. You're telling me you can't get a grass field to make it playable every single week of the season? Stop being freaking cheap. You're paying these players so much money, and paying these players creates revenue for fans and jersey sales and ticket sales. You want your best players to play. You have a 27 percent chance, higher chance of injuring a lower leg extremity on the turf. Why would you not go to grass? It's going to help you make more money. It's going to keep players like Sterling Shepard healthy. It's going to keep players like Saquon Barkley healthy, like Odell Beckham healthy, like Kayvon Thibodeau, like Leonard Williams, like Andrew Thomas. As an owner, you should be doing everything you can to keep your players healthy. If that means switching to grass, switch to freaking grass. A lot of them complain about because they have concerts and events there. How about you do this? You take the grass out, and when an event is there, you roll in some turf. Shimmy. Should the Giants re-sign Saquon Barkley? I love him so much, I want it, but is it best for the team? Great question. Um, I don't think you should pay running backs big money, but I think Saquon Barkley is more than a running back. He's a playmaker. He's a weapon. There's not a lot of running backs that could do what Saquon Barkley can do. I wouldn't pay him what Ezekiel Elliott got paid. But yes, I would sign Saquon Barkley because he makes this football team better. You don't get better by letting good players walk in free agency. Can you sign him to a similar deal that Nick Chubb signed? Three years, $36 million. That's where I would try to go. Maybe a little bit higher. But yes, I would, I would bring back Saquon Barkley, one of the best players on this team. Got to keep the good players in the building if you want to be good. Do you love the Giants? Do you bleed Giants blue? 
Do you love rooting for this team, win or lose? Do you wake up every Sunday like it's my favorite day of the week because I get to watch the Giants play football? If you do, if you check any of those boxes, I want you to hit the like button right now, or hit that sub button, excuse me. You love the Giants, you bleed Giants blue, and you're looking for a one-stop shop on YouTube, hit that sub button right now. Rosario Guzzo, do you think the Giants are in the right direction with a good offseason for you? Do you think they could be a playoff team next year? I think what two Monday nights showed us was that the Giants still have some holes at a lot of roster spots. They got to get better at guard. They got to get better at center. They need a number one wide receiver. They got to get better on the interior defensive line. They have to get an elite off-ball linebacker. I know that was a lot of positions I just named, but I do think the Giants could compete next year for a playoff spot. You got to figure out your quarterback, though. Is Daniel Jones the guy? I don't know. I don't think he is. But look, I thought he's played decent through three weeks. I was really impressed with the way he played. Really impressed with the way he played in week three. Um, I think they are in the right direction. I, tr I trust Joe Shane, and I trust Brian Dable. Rosario Guzzo, great question as always. Thanks for tuning in, my guy. I want to give a shout out to today's proud sportsbook partner and Chat Sports' proud sportsbook partner, BetUS. When you go to chatsports.com slash bet right there and use the promo code chat125 right there, they're going to hook you guys up with a 125% deposit bonus. It's really easy. Go to chatsports.com slash bet, plug that into your browser, and just use the promo code chat125. Put some money into your account. They'll match it with a 125% deposit bonus. Bet on the Giants, bet on the Yankees, bet on the Mets, bet on the Knicks. Just make some freaking money. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125. Timothy, should the Giants place the franchise tag on Saquon Barkley? I think it's a great idea. If you can't agree to a deal with Saquon Barkley on long term, I think it's a great idea to franchise tag him because it's a one-year deal. You don't get a long-term risk by doing that. The franchise tag for Saquon Barkley is estimated to be $12.6 million. I think that's a good deal. It's a steal. It's a lot of guaranteed money. A $12.6 million cap hit is a lot for a running back. But it kind of protects you in the long term, right? Because I know some people are scared of paying a running back big-time money because injuries and they their careers like this. And then, like that, that's how it happens with a running back. But I think the, salary ta uh, the franchise tag is definitely in play for Barkley. If you can't agree to a long-term deal, I would absolutely franchise tag him. Last question from Adam. Giants should call Will Fuller. Oh. I don't mind it. He's a guy that can run. He's fast. But, but, just like Sterling Shepard, just like Kadarius Toney, and just like Wandale Robinson right now, Will Fuller is always can we afford to go sign another wide receiver that's always hurt? Is he a good football player? No doubt about it, but he's always hurt. Look, I don't expect the Giants to go out and sign a wide receiver unless it's for the veteran minimum. I don't think Will Fuller would come and play for the veteran minimum. But if he would, I'd call him. I'd talk to him. I'd work him out. I'd have him go through a, a, a physical, see where his body's at, because when your wide receiver leader through three weeks in the season is Richie James – with 14 grabs for a buck 46, it's inexcusable. You, you, you're not going to be able to win many football games with this type of receiving core. I don't know if Will Fuller's the guy. I don't know who the guy is. Maybe it's Alex Bachman. I know a lot of you guys are big fans of him. You got to go do something. You have to do something at this wide receiver spot. You can't go into this game or go, games in the future if Tony and – Look, you know who's got to step up? It's freaking Kadarius Tony. That's who. You spent a first-round pick on the guy. Frickin' play. Stop being a... Just frickin' play. How about that? We'll ask you this question, though. Should the Giants sign Will Fuller? Should they do it? Type S for sign. Type P for pass.